before you tell me that this is clickbait. It's not. I have some negatives to say about this game. <gasps> Son, how dare you. I've got good things too. However, please watch the whole video before being mean, okay? I'm only here to help you. Bit of red hot chili peppers, if you know, then you know. Another thing that makes me so mad about this game but it does have some bad points. Help me! Help me! Hi guys, if you don't know me, my name is I used to play with knives. Duh! And now, I play with spatulas. A spatula for you, a spatula for me. Spatula. So as you can clearly see from the title, today we are here to talk about Link's Awakening. <sighs> okay, so where do I start? When I first saw this game trailer, I was super hyped, and let's be realistic, it was mainly for the nostalgia. And the simple fact that I love Zelda. I love Zelda so much that I've got a Triforce tattoo on my back. I've got a video about that here. Go check that out after this video, because this video is the most important video. So yesterday, I was lucky enough to go and pick up this game from my local shop, the excitement was real 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 honestly ugh, i've been looking forward to this game since the trailer dropped i was able to sink a good four hours into this game so i think that i am educated enough to give you a simple review however this game is not fully what i expected and i'm here to tell you why i'm going to go through the game with you guys and then obviously give my opinions on certain things some of you may agree some of you may disagree but make sure you leave comments below and interact with me give me everything give me that hate give me that positive vibrational love whichever you prefer i just don't care Okay, so for those who have come from Breath of the Wild and have not played any other Zelda games, you'll be disappointed if you're hoping that this game is like the Breath of the Wild, because boy, it's not. It's not at all. However, that still makes it a fun game, and it's still a very, very decent Zelda game. The game starts where Link is in a sea. He has no idea where he is. He then ends up in a house where he finds his trusty sword and trusty shield. What?! Seal shield. Then that's where the magic happens and the adventure begins. So the first half of the story, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's quite slow. You spend a lot of time talking to people, interacting. However, this is great because this actually puts the story together and builds a base for you to start your game. After that, I assure you, I promise you that the game picks up a lot more pace and it's super fun. That's when the adventure begins and the magic happens. This brings me on to the game style. As a remake game, this game is classed as a retro modern game. It's got a super cute, quirky art style. It's beautiful, it's captivating. The colours are so vibrant and the um, graphics are fabulous. I've got no qualms about that. Now, there are tilt shift visuals, which is amazing for the nostalgia reasons that is the same sort of gameplay that we had on the game boy oh the nostalgia the art style is super quirky it makes it really fun to play there is no doubt when you've got a beautiful game it captivates you and it really leads you in and gets you stuck into the gameplay which <laughs> brings me on to the gameplay itself as i said before the gameplay. This tilt shift game is very much like the original, except <laughs> it's a lot smoother. You've got a smoother gameplay, a more, a more streamlined story. Everything seems to fit together much better in comparison to the Game Boy version. Also, there are many other extra features in this game, and I'll talk about those throughout the rest of the video. However, what kind of appealed to me was the dungeons. You get to you get to create your own dungeon, complete the dungeons and gain prizes. <laughs> it's really fun. A lot of people have problems with the dungeon. However, I liked it. It's quite simple. There's not that much to it, but that says a lot about myself. I'm a simpleton. Okay. Okay, so in the dungeons, obviously, we have a lot of death, we have a lot of slaughter, we have a lot of killing. 
Can we talk about the killing? Please let's talk about the killing. The slaughtering in the game is a lot more fluid. Link's knife just goes in and out. I love the sword and the shield greatly. They're the weapons that I use mostly. However, like any other Zelda games, you can add more weapons to your roster. Only real ones on my roster. I think I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. The weapons, they're not that exciting. If you, again, you've come from Breath of the Wild, don't expect magical, beautiful, shiny weapons. They're just simple. And you know what? It works perfectly with this game. This isn't Persona 4, there's no drama, it's just simple simplicity. And it works very well, my friends. Very, very, very well. Things Awakening. Overall, in regards to the gameplay, you most definitely will not be bored in the second half of the game. Because there is enough to do, there is progress to be made, characters to bond with, there is mini games, there are quests to be complete, secrets to be unlocked, items to be collected, and of course, things to be slaughtered now. Overall, the gameplay throughout the second half will completely captivate you. You will be engaged throughout. There is lots to do, so <gasps> thumbs up, Nintendo. It's not lit, it's gnarly. Also, before we get off the topic of the gameplay, I'd like to say there are amazing mini games and you get to beat some really different bosses. However, Nintendo, oh no, 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 no. You little sneaker sneakers, they've actually included characters from other Nintendo games in the mini 2D games. And I'm not going to spoil who the characters are, but all I'm going to say is, hey, it's me, Mario. Oh, that was really, 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 really bad impression. But yeah, there are multiple different characters from different Mario games. And when you see them, oh, you just get so excited because you're like, eh, I know you. <laughs> Oh, it's really sad when video game characters are your only friends. For me personally, it's the little aspects I just described that make the game really fun and interesting. It, it's the music too. There is music that you can bump to if you want it. But like it is very, very captivating. You know when you're in a boss battle and you've got really intense music and you're just like, yeah! Let's do this! There's a lot of that for art and there's a fun music that just makes you feel really happy too. And I love that. This is why video games exist, to make you feel a certain way, to make you feel emotional, to make you feel happy. And I think this game does that perfectly. Right, in a second, we're going to get on to what I didn't enjoy about the game. However, I would like to conclude. I'd like to add some structure to this video. I tend not to do that, so I'm trying hard to, to do that. Okay, so overall, focusing on the positives, the gameplay is great. They've improved on so many things, such as the map system. The map system is 10 times better than the original game. They've improved on the storyline, they've improved on the graphics, they've improved on the mini games, the puzzles, and so much more. However, um, I'm going to play some devil's advocate here. The game is great, but it does have some bad points. Everything's not good, everything's not cloudy. I'm not gonna be the positive princess that everyone expects me to be. I'm gonna give you my honest truth. Starting with the start of the game, and I've explained this before, the start of the game is super slow. I do have ADD, so this may just be me. What did you guys think? Did you guys find it quite slow too? Was it hard for you to get into, or were you just fine? And if so, it probably is just me. But yeah, I did find it slow and I didn't find it as enjoyable as the second half of the game. The next thing is the D-pad. You cannot use a D-pad on this game and that frustrates me more than anything due to the fact that on the Game Boy you have a D-pad that you can play with. So why Nintendo? Why did you do that? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? That is a very frustrating fact for me because I think oh, it would feel so nice to use the D pad. Next issue, oh, Nintendo, you have a habit of doing this. You put games that don't deserve to be very pricey, you, you put them up 
and make them the most ridiculous, the most ridiculous price ever. This game shouldn't be $60. I personally do not think that the game deserves to be this pricey. I would say $25 to $30 at the most, that's what the game should be. Um, so for anyone who is wanting to purchase this game, I would wholeheartedly suggest the amount of gameplay you're gonna get from it, I would suggest you wait until the price drops. Trust me, you can wait. It is a fabulous game, it's fun, but it's nothing that you need to run out of the shop to buy for. This game is priced higher than quite a few AAA games and it baffles me. They are feeding off our nostalgia. They are sucking our souls out of our bodies knowing that we want to play this game because we are old and we like Zelda. Thank you, Nintendo. I fell for it. Nobody sent me the game. Another thing that makes me so mad about this game, I practically maybe will sell my soul to the devil. It makes me this angry. It shouldn't do, but I'm a nerd and nerds get mad. So for those of you who came for the memes, this is going to disappoint you completely, okay? So let's take a breath, take a step back. <laughs> this game does not feature Death Mountain or Hyrule Castle, along with other places that we know that we would expect to be included in the game. The fact that it doesn't feature the places that we know makes me think that Nintendo would try to make a little spicy spin on it. However, this is why it makes the game a very imperfect version of Link's Awakening. Now that's not me saying it's a bad game. Don't hurt me, no. I enjoyed the game thoroughly. However, I would like to see Hyrule's Castle in the game Nintendo. I was kind of sad that it wasn't included. So Nintendo, I will take my thank you back <laughs> just for that. Okay. So sad. Another thing is the frame rate. There are frame rate drops. I don't really care about those to be honest, but I'm just telling you guys because some of you guys are really bothered about that kind of thing. Doesn't bother me. Graphics, frame rate, unless it's really awful. I don't get too bothered, you know, that's fine. I can deal with it. If I can deal with it, obviously. They are indeed the bad points about this game. Anyway, my opinion doesn't matter as much as yours. So we're gonna head to Twitter and we're gonna see what you guys think. Come with me, this is MTV Cribs and this is my desk. Hello and welcome, we are now at the Twitter headquarters, aka my bedroom, where we are going to get the subs. Link's Awakening has been trending for a while. There is the most beautiful artwork out, I would like to say. Okay, before we start looking at your guys' opinions, can we just look at this beautiful artwork? How are you guys so talented and how am I not? Absolutely beautiful, these first three artworks artworks these first three pieces of art are really what stuck out to me so can you please appreciate and show some love fluffy raccoon has something to say he said why is link's awakening remake 60 dollars my point exactly i guess a full remake but it's a game boy game it's short the crash bandicoot remakes i think are lower in price on the switch bonus this game is laggy at times and the dungeon maker thing is boring I definitely 100% agree with some aspects of that. It's a very expensive game for what it is and it should no way Jose be priced at such a ridiculous price. Nintendo, no. <coughs> it looks like the despondent devil's backbone has some drama to create. He just said, apparently some folk don't like the art style of Link's, Link's Awakening. First of all, how? I like to be respectful of different opinions and stuff, but like, y'all are fucking boring! You know, the art style is fantastic. If you've got a problem with it, then I don't know. That's just your opinion. And I disagree with it massively. So unfortunately, I am seeing other people complain about the frame rate issues. I don't seem to have as much of an issue with it as most people because maybe I am a casual gamer. Maybe. Um, this guy, Sean Bernie, says, I'm about halfway through Link's Awakening. 
on this switch and I'm absolutely loving it. The frame rate issue is annoying, but it's not a deal breaker. I do hope it's fixed in the future. For a 60 damn dollar game, I sure hope it's fixed too, Sean. Ah, the music, we've also got a music lover. Um, Dr. Level Up says, I can't get the music from Link's Awakening out of my head, and that is a good thing. The music is absolutely beautiful. It really is. Anyway, there is not much going on on the Twitter sphere. Everyone is saying how good it is, and they have issues with the frame rates, or they're absolutely loving the game. So there's not much drama to actually report back to you guys. This has been Keem's, I mean, this is Sun, and I am going now. Again, if you have not viewed my Patreon, I have done a new cosplay. It is the beautiful, the scrumptious, Misty Knight. This was one of my favorite cosplays to do. The full set is over on my Patreon. Also, guys, um, I do vlogs on there. My last vlog was about half an hour and it was fun and I enjoyed doing it and you guys on my Patreon enjoyed that too. So if you want to show some, some, some support, it would probably help me get my words out of my mouth properly and also just help me keep on top of this YouTube thing because YouTube is hard. <laughs> But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please leave your opinions on Link's Awakening down below. I'd love to know what you think, the good, the bad, the decrepit, the pure ugly. Let me know, I'd love to know. And I'll see you guys next week for another video, but we cannot leave, no. We cannot leave without the Cyrax. Mm. Lovely. And also, please don't forget to subscribe and show some love on this channel. We do game content. On this channel, we cover game content, lifestyle and fitness, all those little things. It's mostly games and lifestyle, so please stick around for the party. Goodbye, be cool, stay in school.